Globalization contains a great impact on religion. There are various religions in the world such as Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism. As people and culture move across the world, ideas are mobilized and transported by media technology. Religion and globalization has its pros and cons like how people should address the flow of information and how people respect the religion of one another. The faith can spread and increase the interrelation of various religion groups, ideas, and practices. Religion sums up the meaning of globalization because it can be spread more efficiently through the use of different technologies, such as having an online mass or worship using Facebook Live. People can read the Bible through the use of various apps that can be downloaded on our mobile phones. Christians across the globe need an app such as Christian Tinder where they can find their mutuals, friends, or even love life. The religion can be spread out of the national border. It allows the small religions to engage in different activities in or out of the country. To sum it up, religion has contributed a lot of factors when it comes to globalization. As long as the religions are growing, globalization can spread anywhere. Thank you. Throughout the centuries, mankind found prosperity while on settlement. And what brought them together is religion. Religion is just like globalization. It exists for the sole purpose of unifying populations of devotees or believers. It may have pros and cons, but what it really emphasizes is to hold hand in hand as one nation. So, religion is a connection between an individual and the God or divine being he or she believes in. With globalization, religion turned into a culture of pluralism that teaches us to respect different religions. Expansions of interconnections all around the world has brought disseminations to societies of thoughts and beliefs for a very long time. As we have associated with various communities worldwide that were inaccessible to us back then, merchandises and information were passed out alongside religion. Globalization has spread religions to places while at the same time making consistency in how those religions are practiced by communities in the different parts of the world. Its benefit is that people around the world can further strengthen its relationship and unify around the shared religion with common practices. Christianity or Catholicism blossomed in the first century Roman province of Judea, led by Jesus, who was a Jewish teacher and pillar. According to the Christian Bible, the first church was established 50 days after Jesus' death on the day of the Pentecost, a time when the Holy Spirit was said to descend on Jesus' followers. Christians are monotheistic. They believe there's only one God and He created the heaven and earth. Christians also believe in the revolvement of life, death, and resurrection, just like Jesus did. So, Hinduism is an Indian religion. It is the world's third largest religion with over 1.25 billion followers or 15 to 16 percent of the global population. One fundamental principle of the religion is the idea that people's actions and thoughts directly determine their current life and future lives. Hindus strive to achieve Dharma, which is a code of living that emphasizes good conduct and morality. An example of Hinduism is the belief in karma and reincarnation. Reincarnation is the belief that after you die, you return to life in a different form. While karma is the sum of a person's actions in this or previous states, that determines their future lives. So that's it for Hinduism. The propagation of religion stems from the intermingling of communities through commerce and communication. Sharing a system of ideas, morality, and culture solidify the relationship of these communities and stabilize their identity as well as social structure. As empires expanded and conquered the surrounding areas, so have they introduced their ideologies through the fusion. It was also common for religions to send missionaries to evangelize populations in further areas through the use of trade routes. Studies have shown that cultures with existing political leadership were fast to convert to religions like Christianity because if their leaders were converted, the people were very likely to follow in their lead. Religion can also propagate the displacement of the believers who bring their 
faith with them to new places and continue to practice it there. Globalization and religion has a major influence when it comes to binding people together, despite its differences in practices and belief. Globalization is defined as a positive interaction among people and companies worldwide, and by this interaction with other people having different beliefs, we have gained knowledge about other religions and their practices in expressing them in different parts of the world with respect and acceptance. In this modern society, and through the use of technology, we have been given access to learn and know more about them. Among the consequences of this implication for religion have been that globalization encourages religious pluralism. Religions identify themselves in relation to one another, and they become less rooted in particular places because of diasporas and transnational ties. Globalization further provides a fertile ground for a variety of non-institutionalized religious manifestations and for the development of religion as a political and cultural resource. Globalization perspectives seeking to include religion may have taken several directions of which of the following are likely most significant. First, Certain approaches analyze religion as a global or transnational institution whose diverse manifestations operate to a large extent independently of economic and political structures and that bind diverse regions of the world together in ways comparable to global trade, international relations, mass media, sports, communications media, or even tourism. A second, but related focus of observation is the role that religious systems play as a powerful cultural resource for asserting identity and seeking inclusion in global society, especially among those of less powerful and marginalized populations. It is in this context that religio-political movements including the so-called fundamentalisms receive the most focused attention. The third strategy goes even further, attempting to show the formation, reformation, and spread of religions have been an integral dimension of the globalizations and such. Although these three directions are by no means mutually exclusive, for the sake of presentation, they can be treated separately. Each implies somewhat a different theoretical emphasis and each also tends to focus on different empirical manifestations of religion in our world. Forces of globalization affected religion by rising religious fundamentalism as people feel culturally threatened by invasion of cultural factors such as environmental crisis and secular society. These problems and challenges posed by globalization have provided opportunity and the power to religion to revitalize itself and to transform itself into religion with a new form that has a role and a new identity. With regard to globalization, the movement of people and information across national borders increases the rate of social and cultural liberalization, resulting in potential loosening of traditional religious structures. The rise of nationalism as a counter-pressure to globalization may put pressure on ethnic or religious diversity in some countries, particularly countries that do not have long histories of multiculturalism or where there has been historical conflict between ethnic or religious groups that have been suppressed due to the rise of globalization. Globalization is for exponent correspondence where religion grows to be more self-conscious in seeing themselves as world religions. The fundamental values of globalization are contrary to religious parochialism. By reducing the boundaries between diverse cultures, globalization is turning religion into a dilemma of tensions that perpetuate social identities, as others do not embrace the facts, and that causes the resort of religion to rediscover their own identity. Here are examples of effects of globalization to religion. The decline of religious activities in modern societies are greatly increasing. Religious institutions are distinguished from secular institutions and the areas of power. Next, 
religion has withdrawn to the private domain, and lastly, culture is becoming increasingly separate, while religion is becoming less and less significant.